consider supporting Arkea Soup on Patreon for as little as a dollar per month. Link available in the video description. Hello and welcome back to another Archaeologist's Eye. In this series, I challenge you. I present you with a puzzle based on my meanderings. Uh, I have been inspired by something in the world around me. It sparked a thought, an analogy from the historical or the archaeological record. And the question is, can you think like an archaeologist? Or at the very least, like this archaeologist. Uh, can you come up with a similar answer to the puzzle of the day or maybe a better answer maybe there's something i hadn't thought of i've actually quite enjoyed that about this series so far some of the the other answers have been really really interesting but today's archaeologist eye is inspired by something very topical actually you see i'm filming this in the midst of a fairly intensive couple of months at archaeosu towers really between the new year and february those eight weeks have been and will be very busy because we're, we're wrapping up a, a two-year HLF project, Heritage Lottery Funded project in South Shields, examining a BMX track, which is more interesting than it may initially sound. You see, not only does it have a, a sort of social history context, and there are some people that we've met who actually rode the thing as a kid, uh, even though it's now, it's now on the verge of being lost to, to, to the, the undergrowth. Uh, it's still ridden by young people today. Uh, but also, what intrigued me about it was the fact that these lumps and bumps are not a million miles away from a prehistoric monument. With, with a little less knowledge, a bit more time, or maybe, for example, from the air, what you're looking at isn't exactly obvious. It could be an Iron Age thingy ma bob, like a banjo enclosure or something. Uh, it could be. It could be even older than that. But actually, no, it's a, it's a 1980s BMX track. And so, so it's been an interesting couple of years. In fact, we've been on the site. We've been working there for five years. My first video about, the, about, about that track was five years ago. And uh, over the next couple of months, I'm going to be editing a, a film about it. Uh, in fact, I'll get a little preview here. That's the order. They hit the berm into the finishing straight and for the final time Scott Williams over the... Oh, he's been close up by Jeff Bishop on the line. Scott Williams, Jeff Bishop and Ian McCracken in that order. What a brilliant race. Scott Williams and uh, Jeff Bishop there. Scott, how did you see the race? That was good. That was good. But it was not just a game. <laughs> Hello, um, I've just got back from a really interesting morning uh, spent with a group called Tyneside Outdoors. I've been brought in today actually to uh, partly to catch up with friends but also partly to, to sort of consult on the potential for um, a project uh, on this in this particular landscape um, uh, in a place called Temple Park in South Shields. What we were looking at today was actually the remnants of a BMX track. And you can see where there are tyres, for example, um, throughout this little little sort of patch of ground, which mark out the side of the track. So each side uh, you have sort of tyres, bumps and this kind of thing. Well, my name's Jared New and I'm a youth and community worker with Tyneside Outdoors. So I started in uh, 2014, which is official start. I mean, it took a little while to get up, but it was officially registered as a charity in 2014. Mm -hmm. um, so it's been going just over five years now. I came across um, the BMX track when I was walking the dog. Uh, so I walked the dog there uh, in that park every day um, and sort of like walking around the track, you, you suddenly realize that there are tires around and you think, well, what, what, what are these for? And then you realize that there's various bumps and then there's berms and things like that. And you think, 
right, okay, then I know what this is now, sort of thing. So recognising those few features kind of give you the idea of like, oh, it's a bit extra. So I'm very much enjoying the, the 80s feel and the excuse to, to put in uh, excessive editing, shall we say. And uh, and it's all, it's, it's great, it's good, it's going to be busy, and we're having lots of meetings and planning. And it's actually at one of these meetings, on one of our regular Monday meetings, in fact, that I constructed today's puzzle you see i much to my shame at that point didn't have a a, re a renewable reusable coffee cup so i bought a costa coffee on the way to the meeting and in a moment of distraction to be fair actually you know while while, while i'm listening i often uh, doodle anyway so i wasn't really distracted but while i was listening and 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 thinking i turned my cup into this yeah <laughs> Now we decided the young people uh, in particular decided that this was a bit like a like a, a horse or a snake. You can see the eyes, the mouth, the sort of compressed bottom of the cup, and the whole thing are uh, deliberately given this kind of shape. And it, you know, it evolved over the course of a good half hour, forty minutes or so, um, into this thing. Uh, but my question for you is, what does this remind me of? Almost immediately, I was reminded of very particular archaeological artifacts. Uh, artifacts that we sometimes find in, sometimes I, I suppose in, in grave contexts. Certainly there are images of these artifacts, there are images on these artifacts, and they are beautiful in their own way. But I think equally strange. If you didn't know precisely what they were for, you might go, oh? And I think I'll leave it there. What does this remind me of from the archaeological record <laughs> uh, if you get it I will give you a million gold stars how's that I uh, I had a lot of fun making this I also had a lot of fun keeping it to share with you today uh, and I think it may well end up on, on a shelf or something it's um yeah he's got I don't know what, what, what should I call him George Jeffrey Henry the horse horse cup I don't know Anyway, what does this cup remind me of? What did it immediately make me think of from the archaeological record? What does it make you think of, indeed? Comment below, speculate, perambulate, cogitate, is that the word? Elaborate. <laughs> Go fly, my supian beauties. Um, let's see what we come up with together because I think this, this guy has the potential to, to inspire some fun, I think. As ever, until next time, do take care, and you can expect the answer to this next week. I'll, I'll, I'll reveal my idea, what it inspired in me, certainly, uh, next week. Until then, bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.